The RGL-80 is the only launcher in Modern Warfare 3, which is great for mastery camos because it's easy. People are frustrated completing the camo challenges now, and it'll always be frustrating to complete this weapon. For your class setup, it's really straightforward. While you're getting kills, have the riot shield on your back. When you're trying to destroy enemy equipment, run the engineer vest. And run the munitions box to refill ammo because you'll run out quite quickly. The RGL-80 only has 6 weapon levels, and in a single match of any objective game mode, playing the objective and getting some kills, you'll reach weapon level 4 to do the base camo challenge, which is straightforward. 25 kills, that is it. In a single match, you'll crush it. Of course, a lot of enemies will have EOD padding, and it's frustrating because it takes multiple shots, sometimes all the shots that you have, just to kill a single enemy. If you go and play hardcore with the RGL, you'll be getting one-shot kills as long as the enemy doesn't have EOD, and a direct impact is always going to be a kill regardless of what perks the enemy is running. Once you complete your base 25 kills, you can work on Gilded, which is 10 direct impact kills. Most of your kills in core are going to be direct impacts anyway. If for some reason you're struggling, eliminate the space between you and the enemy players. Get as close as possible because you'll be more accurate. Also, take advantage of enemies standing still. They're free kills. Once you've unlocked the Gilded camo, you can work on Forged, which is where everyone is having problems right now and it's really difficult. You have to destroy 25 enemy equipment, and with the Engineer perk where you can spot enemy equipment through walls, throughout a match you'll see tons of things. However, only two pieces of enemy equipment count towards the camo challenge, and that's Claymores and Proximity Mines. That's it. And not only does no one ever use these, the second that you notice an enemy does start using claymores in proximity mines, anyone trying to do the camo challenge races to destroy it as fast as possible. The challenge itself, super simple, but it's so circumstantial that it's frustrating and difficult. To complete this challenge as fast as possible, always run the engineer vest and always have your RGL-80 as your secondary. Your primary can be whatever you want. If you want to be efficient and get the interstellar camo as fast as possible, Work on getting camos for your primary, and if you ever come across an enemy claymore or proximity mine, take out your RGL and destroy it. From playing this game so much, I found the best game modes to actually find enemy equipment is in objective game modes like Domination or Hardpoint, where enemies will try to hold and secure objectives by any means necessary and use equipment to help them do so. You can also find tons of equipment in Invasion. Not because it's an objective game mode, but because there's so many enemy players in a single match. The maps are so large that there's tons of snipers trying to get their camo challenges done. Odds are if those players are high enough levels, they're gonna throw proxy mines and claymores down at entrances to their building where they're gonna be camping and trying to get those challenges and even weapon levels completed. Those also aren't the only modes where you'll find these equipment to destroy. You'll see them across any multiplayer mode, I just tend to find them more frequently in invasion and objective modes. I wouldn't be surprised if months from now, Free For All becomes a really good game mode to destroy equipment, since lots of players, once they're settled into the game, will play Free For All, hold down an area of the map, and use those equipment to help them stay alive and just hold a specific power position. I got so desperate for completing these camos in pre-game lobbies while everyone was voting on what map to play, I would go into game chat and start asking people straight up to use the equipment so I could work on camo challenges. Sometimes I'd also make something up and try to convince the lobby, hey, there's an XP glitch if you get kills with claymores and proxy mines where you're getting a thousand kills per destruction. I was trying to do whatever I could to convince the enemy team to use them as much as possible. Unlike me, you do have to be patient and not every single match you play is going to have these equipment to destroy. In my personal experience, I got the snipers, battle rifles, and both knives with the forge camo unlocked before I completed the RGL-80, and the RGL, once I unlocked it, was one of the first things that I did the camo challenges for, to try and get out of the way as fast as possible, and then I was met with this challenge. That's how to unlock the forge camo on the RGL-80. If there's any updates in the future where kill streaks and field upgrades start counting towards the forged camo challenge, I'll have all the information in a pinned comment down below. Try to stay as patient and level-headed as possible. Good luck trying to destroy 25 equipment. Hopefully this helps you as much as possible.